from the studios of Adventist World Radio in Pune. A warm welcome to you as you join us. This is our international English service. In our program today, we bring inspirational music, health talk on principles of life that are basic. With more enjoyable music, you'll also hear God's word to enrich you spiritually. This is your host Sharad and I'm Maureen and you're listening to Adventist World Radio, the voice of hope. Let's begin our program with a song. are listening to Adventist World Radio, the voice of hope from Pune, India. Dear friend, life's rich treasures such as health, happiness and peace of mind are portrayed in our health talk in a new way. Today's society has many problems. How can we cope up with them? How can we enjoy health and happiness each day in the face of these influences that bombard us continually? It's time to hear a health talk. Stay with us. Dear listeners, the World Health Organization identifies the leading causes of death in the world and it lists diarrhea to be the fifth leading cause of death on the planet, killing almost 7% of people living in the developing countries. Diarrhea describes loose, watery stools that occur more frequently than usual. It causes more frequent trips to the toilet and a greater volume of stool. Everyone develops diarrhea at some time or the other and the condition usually lasts for a few days. The condition however 
can last for few weeks and be associated with fever, abdominal pain, and bloating. Stools sometimes contain blood. Severe weakness, dizziness, and lightheadedness may develop. These are all the signs that diarrhea has become dangerous. Long-lasting diarrhea is dangerous because it causes a significant loss of water and salts from the body. Uncommon causes for severe diarrhea include your body's immune system being allergic to the lining cells of your bowel or from allergies you may have developed to certain types of food. These causes may be a topic for another discussion, but today I want to talk about the common causes, namely attacks by bacteria, viruses and parasites. These organ these organisms come into your body through water and food. First, a word about water. In developed countries, water from the faucet is processed to make sure it is clean before it comes to you. In developing countries, that is often not the case. Water comes from a faucet or from a well may contain significant numbers of bacteria and vi- viruses. The water may come downstream from a river where other people or animals drink and bathe and it may not be filtered or processed in any way the healthiest thing to do if you are uncertain about your water the healthiest thing you can do if you are uncertain your water is safe is to drink boiled water bottled water or soda served in its original container and drinks may be boiled water such as green tea you should also brush your teeth using boiled water and shower keeping your mouth closed treatment of serious diarrhea is expensive so sm- the smartest thing you can do is to prevent diarrhea in the first place how can you do that washing your hands helps to keep the bacteria and viruses that cause diarrhea from entering your body wash your hands before and after preparing food after handling uncooked meat and after using the toilet changing diapers sneezing coughing or blowing your nose when you wash your hands lather your soap for at least 20 seconds use an al- alcohol hand sanitizer if you have access to one make sure you cover both the front and back of your hands alcohol is often more e- effective than soap in killing bacteria and viruses also wash the surfaces you use to prepare food frequently with soap and water and serve food right away or refrigerate it after it has been cooked so bacteria don't have a chance to grow certain foods contain helpful live bacteria that can actually help to prevent diarrhea those foods are cultured yogurt cultured cheese miso and tempeh on the other hand dairy products such as milk and fatty food high fiber food and highly seasoned food all tend to make diarrhea worse how can you treat diarrhea if you are just de- developing diarrhea you are losing fluids from your body and as well as salts from your body needs things like sodium and potassium drink clean boiled or bottled water drink soups to replace sodium and fruit juices to replace potassium as the diarrhea lessens try food such as soda crackers toast eggs and rice as an intermediate step before going back to normal foods If your diarrhea lasts more than 3 days it is essential to replace liquids and salts either by mouth or into a vein you may need antibiotics by vein you may even in need hospitalization to see a doctor if you have access to one dear friends there are a number of non prescription medicines that are advised to stop diarrhea by reducing the number of watery bowel movements you have The problem with these medicines is that if bacteria, viruses or parasites are causing your diarrhea, having fewer bowel movements delays your body ridding itself of the very cause of the diarrhea, making things worse. So dear listeners, to summarize, God has created your body with a remarkable immune system that has the potential of killing the bacteria, viruses and parasites that cause diarrhea. Try to prevent getting diarrhea in the first place by washing your hands often with soap and water or alcohol especially before and after preparing food after handling uncooked meat after using the toilet changing diapers sneezing coughing or blowing your nose serve food 
right away after it is cooked remember that unprocessed water in many parts of the world is not safe so be careful about the water you drink there are some foods that contain good bacteria that can help prevent diarrhea foods such as cultured yogurt cultured cheese miso and tempeh treatment with antibiotics liquids and salts by vein is expensive so if you are just developing diarrhea drink clean or bottled water soda served in its original container and drinks using boiled water drinks like green tea eat soups for sodium salts and drink fruit juices for potassium diarrhea lasting more than 3 days is a dangerous health condition that causes death in millions of people around the world every year if you live in a place where you have an access to a physician see one for more intense treatment for diarrhea which is not improving by 3 days or if you are developing fever abdominal pain and bloating bloody stools or severe weakness dizziness and light headedness thank you for our nice health talk we are sure it was hope for the despondent cheer for the sick and rest for the weary keep listening to awr it will open the door to a new experience in your life to know more on our program you are welcome to write to us on adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 411001 maharashtra india you can also email us on adventist media center at gmail.com you could also hear all our programs on our website that's on awr.org/english program before you hear god's word here's another song Come join us as we share God's word. Dear listener, happiness is a choice we can choose to feel defeated and despondent over life circumstances or we can choose to be hopeful and happy. Too many people ignore the present and expect to be happy sometime in future. 
the time to be happy is right now friends here are seven ways to choose happiness and in the process get more living out of life friends number 1 choose to live a sincere spiritual life scripture reminds us that ultimately happiness is a spiritual experience grounded in our relationship to god the psalmist wrote happy are those who reject the advice of evil men and do not follow the example of sinners happy are the people whose god is the lord psalms chapter 1 verse 1 friends consider also the wisdom in this advice from charles hudden spurgeon the great 19th century british preacher have your heart right with christ and he will visit you often and so turn meals into sacraments homes into temples and earth into heaven choose to live a sincere spiritual life do all you can to experience spiritual growth by attending worship services regularly reading scripture and other inspirational writings and engaging in daily prayer and meditation dear listener here's the second one choose to be happy in spite of problems no one lives a life that is free from problems hard times and happiness are not mutually exclusive remind yourself that at any moment in life you have the option to choose happiness then make a commitment to contentment no matter what your external circumstances may be often the greatest happiness and the deepest joy flow from the lives of people who have troubles and who triumph over them through their sheer determination and perseverance nicolo pagini the great 19th century violinist was performing before a distinguished audience when suddenly one of the strings on his violin snapped the audience gasped but the master musician played on the three remaining strings as if nothing had happened abruptly the second string broke without missing a note pegani played on unbelievably the third string gave way with a sharp crack for a brief moment the violinist stopped the audience was certain he could not continue but calmly and confidently pegani raised his famous stradivarius violin high with one hand and announced one string and pegani then with a tremendous furious skill and the matchless discipline of a gifted artist pegani finished the selection on a single string his performance was done with such a perfection that the audience rose in unison to give him a standing ovation friends like pegani all of us face times when one string after another on the instrument of our lives seems to stab at such moments the temptation to give up and let unhappiness rule our lives is great but it is always much more rewarding to persevere and overcome the problems so meet challenges large or small with courage dignity and optimism they will recede and as you work to overcome them your happiness will grow scripture tells us much the same thing when it says let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up galatians chapter 6 verse 9 thirdly dear listener choose to practice being happy this is difficult isn't it but let's try remind yourself that you are a happy person identify yourself to others as being a happy individual smile often greet friends with warmth and strangers with kindness practice giving thanks daily and even hourly for many happiness that are yours such as the gift of being alive watching the sun rise 
living in a comfortable dwelling place, completing a demanding project, enjoying the love of family and friends, having work that provides you with financial resources and so forth. Remember that happiness is not the attainment of what you want, but the realization of how much you already have. Dear listener, fourthly, choose to make someone else happy. This is difficult again, but let's try on. The joy that you give others is the joy that comes back to you, wrote poet John Greenleaf, Witter, and Jesus taught, whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. Behind those statements is this simple but profound truth. Our happiness is magnified when we go out of our way to make someone else happy. Consider the example of Peter who works in a manufacturing firm. At that company, it had been a tradition for department heads jointly to buy a Christian gift for the plant manager. That tradition was changed when Peter became the manager. During his first year in the job, he asked his 15 department heads to adopt a family with eight children who faced a bleak holiday. Funds that might have purchased an elegant leather attached case instead bought dolls, footballs, books, stuffed animals, crayon and games, caught up in the excitement of helping employees, spouses, purchased warm mitten sweaters and pajamas, and someone else contributed a turkey for dinner. Dear listener, fifthly, choose to examine your expectations. Many people are chronically unhappy because their um, expectations are unrealistic, says Bobby Sommer, the author of Psycho Cybernetics 2000. Don't delude yourself that you can ward off unhappiness in all situations, all the time. There is no such thing as permanent, uninterrupted happiness. The important thing is to learn to accept setbacks without thinking of them as permanent conditions. Second, lastly, dear listener, choose to get help in order to have happiness. If happiness is never part of your life, if you have more depression than joy, it is almost impossible for you to experience happiness. Then it is likely that something in your life is holding you back, rather than remain in an unhappy, pessimistic state. Speak to your pastor or seek out a counselor who can help you locate the problem and guide you to move into happiness. A recent study of 4,000 responses uh, revealed that counseling was highly beneficial for problems such as depression, phobias, and stress. Nearly 9 out of 10 respondents uh, indicated that their condition improved significantly after counseling. In fact, 44% of those who entered therapy, people had uh, previously reported that they were in very poor emotional state and made statements like, I barely managed to deal with things, said they felt much better after treatment. Lastly, dear listener, choose to be happy. Don't fall into the trap of putting happiness on hold. Too many people ignore uh, the present and expect to be happy sometime in the future. When they get the promotion, find true love, earn a large income, attain great professional success or achieve some other goal, that approach will most likely result in disappointment. Happiness does not operate on a future schedule. The right time to be happy is now. The Bible wisely declares, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you, dear listener. Let's pray. Our loving and living Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for happiness that comes through accepting Jesus Christ as our Savior. 
we believe the true happiness comes only from you not from the things from earth may we rejoice and practice these seven ways in our lives so that we can find the happiness that is in jesus in jesus holy name we pray amen Dear listener, are you searching for truth, for peace, for hope? Where will you turn? Nations seem bent on the politics of war. The economic of the world are at the shattering point. Natural disasters race against a poisoned ecology to fatally damage our environment as the global climate appears to spin out of control human wisdom no longer seems to offer a secure future or any hope for happiness dear friend the good news is we are not without hope trace the footsteps of god through human history and see for yourself what he offered to save us discover the truths that can protect you from the lies of the devil discover truths that can change your life today and show you the change of a life without end with this we have almost come to the end of our program to know more on god's word we would love to receive your letters on adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 411 001 Maharashtra India You can also write to us on Adventist Media Center at gmail.com You may also follow all our programs on our website that is awr.org/englishprogram This is your host Sharad and I'm Maureen signing off from 